You look like you're thinking of something pretty good. I am. There's a myth going around that you can stick your hand into molten lead and not get hurt. Molten metal. Pretty nasty stuff. Just look at these shots of a foundry. It would seem that if you touched any of that stuff with your hands, you'd be horribly, horribly burned. But maybe not so. See, there's a myth going around that if you take pure lead and you melt it, that you can dip your hand in it and not be burnt or horribly injured. I know. The trick is supposed to be that you wet your hand before doing it, and it exploits what's known as the Leidenfrost effect. The Leidenfrost effect? Well, seeing as it's the scientific basis for the myth, Adam, with his hot steel ball and fish tank, is on demonstration duty. Wow! <laughs> Look at that! You can see a clear skin of, I guess it's steam, around the whole thing. What you're seeing in this demonstration is known as the Leyden Frost effect. It's like an atmosphere. It's interesting because the steam that's created when you expose a hot surface to water is actually insulating that surface. And it makes sense because steam, being a gas, conducts heat less rapidly than the water itself does. And that's the key. When cool water is exposed to an extremely hot surface, a layer of water vapor, which is a relatively poor heat conductor, provides a thin protective barrier. So it's time to get cooking for this air-raising stunt. Is this, a, is this me? With the one and only ingredient, lead. Is this the first Terminator you've ever cooked? No, I've done this a lot before, actually. Every time I get a robot that's misbehaving. <laughs> Problems you gotta keep them cooking, otherwise they reformulate and try and kill you. Uh, it's about 725 degrees. Well, that's about 100 degrees more than melting temperature. I think that's about right. Let's do it. Cue the stand-in digits. This meat is raw, and if it actually gets too hot, it's going to change color because it's cooking. If these finger-sized sausages sizzle, then Adam and Jamie won't be going anywhere near the hot pot. Oh, no, that seems to be a problem, doesn't it? A very slight change of color. But also, lead stuck, to, I wouldn't want that to happen to my finger. No. While not burnt by the standards of any backyard barbecue, the sausage is being cooked. But they're not giving up yet. A hair's breadth over 800. In order to avoid burning their stand-in digits, they're going to raise the temperature and try again. Here's where we stand so far. Behind me is a bucket of molten lead into which we have already stuck a couple of breakfast sausages and watched them get lead stuck to them and watched them get burnt. We're not ready to put our hands in there yet, but we hear that if we get the lead 200 degrees over its melting point, great, that's 850, let's try it. It'll stop sticking. Here's that's finger, bucket of water, whoop, shake it off, into the lead. And it looks pretty much perfect and it's still cold. Yeah. So 850 degrees Fahrenheit is the magic number. The sausage comes through unscathed, which leaves just one question. I'm game, you game? <laughs> I picture people yelling at their TV, go on, do it, you, go on, try it, ha! Ah! Aren't you? Yeah. All right, we're about to go for it. About to dip our hands into molten metal, and we've got plenty of evidence saying that this is safe. It's clear from our experimentation that the conditions to do it safely are actually pretty precise. I think we've got them. And I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> and this little piggy burned <laughs> clean off. <laughs> Despite the sausage-based evidence, clearly a sentence never before used, there is still a healthy amount of trepidation. Remember, the lead is at around 450 degrees Celsius, which puts this stunt firmly in the don't try at home category. Nothing. <laughs> now, I just went about that deep. Yeah, you want to go a little deeper? My little finger is just fine. Of course, I only went in about that deep. I was being a little careful. I didn't feel a thing. It felt kind of warm and pleasant, actually. Go for it. And a repeat performance with an index finger yields the same result. Now that one, it went in pretty good, and uh, no problem. No problem? No problem. 
I guess it's my turn. Adam has had the luxury of using Jamie as a human guinea pig. So naturally, he has to up the ante. He's going for four fingers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. One human hand in molten metal. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's freaky. You can feel the water boiling against your fingers. You can feel that right there. And that pretty much puts this lead mini myth to bed. So Jamie and I just successfully dipped our hands into a pot of molten metal. No lie. The lead and frost effect is no myth. It protected us. Well, I'm unharmed. You? I'm fine. That's all we needed. That's a myth confirmed. Yep. <laughs>